Welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. Today is January 22nd. When um, wisdom comes to our lives, prior to wisdom, before the grace, the spirit comes and touches our lives, we are in this unconscious pattern in our lives that... Um, which is connected to the collective karma as well as your personal karma. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the word karma and, um, and, and uh, people bring it up. And this, for example, when our, we are born, uh, we're born into this particular family in certain region um, and then so this is predisposition like you don't have a choice in the family that you're going to be born into and what is going on in the environment in that country in the society um, you don't have a choice in that either so you have landed into this place and also you're going to go through certain conditioning through your society your school your environment whatever is happening around you in your surrounding so you're going to get conditioned by that as well so there's nothing you can do about that so but as we evolve and we go forward and to those of us that presence comes into our lives breaks into the rhythm our karmic rhythm whatever and um presence comes the grace comes into your life you get touched by that and when the grace comes in then we begin to experience the something greater than what we thought exists in our lives what seemed to be uh the norm what seemed to be the rhythm that were the cycle we're going through it looks like it now you could have been going through this for 30 40 years and then uh, or longer and all of a sudden uh, you start to be touched by the presence and what happens is when the presence come into your life it creates space there is a disconnection happens from you of being completely identified with your thinking pattern and the collective thinking pattern as well as the story which is going on in the world so that space separates you from it and through the presence and it brings you into this place of a touch a feeling a a kiss, a, a dance with something much bigger than you that has entered into your life and it feels really right. And the mind wants to understand it. Your mind wants to understand what this is. But awareness, consciousness is not to be understood by the limited mind. But something inside you knows it's right because it's the very essence and the very um, fabric of who you are the presence so i'm going to use why don't we use a, a a practical example let's go back into this place let's just go back into this meditative place and you close your eyes and you go back into meditation right and 
just be an observer and I want you to do this con consciously. It's like, we did meditate, we came out of it, we're gonna go back into it. But when you're going back into it, I want you to take a different approach, okay? I want you to go back to your meditation completely without any agendas, without any kind of goal, but simply disconnecting and disenga you're, you're disengaging from whatever is your life or your story and you simply come back into this place. You're here and you're present You have your eyes closed. You have your attention on one point. And you allow thoughts come and go and you allow emotions to come and go. There is complete surrender to what, whatever is happening, including the external noises, whatever noise you hear from the outside. And then let's together we examine what takes over. So take a deep breath and come back to this place and just hang out in this place. Spend time in this place. So anybody can recognize the difference? Can you feel like what happens? Anyone? would like to share with me. You can raise your hand if you like, and I'll um, unmute you so we can talk. Do you feel like something happened in between the two? When you create space, when, when, the self-awareness comes in and this mechanism of becoming aware, awake. And in this awakening that, that takes over, the presence, you know, these are different words that we um, can use. Um, these presence, consciousness, awakening, awareness, right? So here we are, we're living our lives. And in this life that we're living in, we have this unconscious patterns, unconscious thoughts that is going, and these patterns that we get caught into. 